Welcome, fellow Xbox Live PC gaming community. Here we are yet again with another edition of and why the seas ain't safe. Let's get to it. It's been a rough, rough week for Bobby the Bottles. Okay. You had Cork and Angel going at it. Cork putting out the information exposure. Angel is him not living up to his name like the angel he's supposed to be. In fact, Cork went so hard, he's even exposing him as far as like saying, hey, he's not an angel. The guy is a dummy down dog devil. Problem. Okay. Then they ran into pace. They got dropped off by pace. And I honestly don't think things will ever be the same. And they're honestly mad at me, but it's not my fault. Right. Whatever you guys did to the sea gods, you need to drop down in prayer and pray. Problem. Because right now it is not looking good. So what I'm being told and what had happened was. You guys really needed a redeemed team bounce back story because right now and at the time you guys were sinking, right? And the only way you could get up at that particular moment is do something that would be, huh, can you imagine? Prolific. (laughs) Anyway, but it didn't transpire, possibly work out the way it needed to happen. Like, for example, the fact that you guys did not win and have not won the naval, what would have been a great story is anything after that, possibly winning a top tier team in the TDM community, possibly sinking somebody that's very important in adventure. But things have not been going your guys' way. So you don't do good in naval, right? Then Cork exposes, and the next thing you know, you run into pace, and he sinks your ship not once, not twice, but three times in adventure in front of 5,000-plus people, and then you guys are subbing out your players. Angel says it wasn't your A team. What was it, your B, C, and E team? Maybe even possibly Z? I'm not going to do the whole alphabet, but you know what I mean. Problem, right? Because you had Tater, right? You had Hunter, okay? Quicks keeps saying he wasn't on there, but you had Raspy. And who else did you have on there? You just kept switching in and out. You had Twitch. Problem. Hunter is the leader of the crew. He was even on there. So if it wasn't your A-team, who is Hunter? What does he do? Where was the A-team at? Where was they antennas, okay, when y'all was getting your butt sunken by Chop, okay, Rob, Kabal, right, and Pace? We need answers. Okay, moving forward. Now, They didn't have the Redeemer bounce back story. It would have been a great bounce back story after the whole court thing and the naval situation not working out. Them sinking pace would have been the greatest thing that got their ship right back up and out of the water. Okay, fully stocked and prepared. But they went down deeper. They were sinking with the ship like the Titanic in the musical band. Right. They just playing the instruments as they are sinking. After this had happened. They had one more opportunity, which they created created for themselves, because once you say stuff like this, Tater, okay, when you say something like this, stuff is going to happen. And this is what people don't understand. And this is what word is going to find out further into this video. But until I get to that, let me talk about this now, Tater. Uh, Not to mention, I'm going to go get my eyes checked on Monday because I'm still trying to figure out who, when, and what were you sword charging at in this particular moment. So either I need a new monitor, okay, a new screen for my Mac, or a new screen for my TV or something because I'm still trying to figure out how such a person can make a statement but with uh, sword charging at something I have not seen. I probably have bad eyes, and I'm going to go get them checked for sure because people keep telling me nothing's there, but I find that hard to believe after you had made this statement. I guarantee Tater saw something, and that's why he did the sword charge. So um, people stop trolling me, stop playing. There is something there that he saw, and once I go get my eyes checked by my doctor problem, I will see it too. Let's read the statement of what he said after all this stuff has transpired, okay? Because Pace dropped them and Chop Bone, and when they dropped them, they dropped them hard, okay? Now, Tater is not feeling this whatsoever. In fact, he even had Angel show up. But before we get to that, let me just go ahead and get started. I just just can't stop digressing, right? Because it's just just so much that's transpired these last couple days. But anyway, Tater says, and he adds everyone when he says it, He says, let me just start off by saying we are one of the best overall team in the NA region. While there might be other teams, he meant to put an S right there, are better than us in specific fields. We are better than them in the majority of the game PVP activities problem. Okay, 
This is his sole statement. He has his right hand to the sea gods as he is writing this. I'm telling you. No one can deny that our performance against Pace was disgraceful and disproportionate. Okay? I don't know why. Like, him and Chobi is funny because... And Ch- Chobi does this because I feel like he tries to show off his verbal skills, his vocabulary. He wants to, he wants to sound very intelligent. Little to his be known, sis. When somebody tries to talk to me like that and use these big words, I take that as a form of offense. So you need to calm down, buddy. Problem. Now, disproportionate of our roster skills. We will be happy to prove to anyone who doubts us that we are goats. I have to stop right there and take a breath because I cannot believe he just used the term ghost, which means greatest of all time. Now, the guy sunk three times. Last time I checked, okay, they're calling Floyd Mayweather the boxer, right? If I'm not mistaken, what is he like, 55 and 0, 56 and 0? The guy has not lost. You don't catch L's and then, therefore, after you lose, call yourself goats. Moving forward. Where I lost my play. Goats. And if you doubt us and don't challenge, you are a crapper and dodging. Okay? So that right there, that you call that reverse psychology because I'm going to tell you right now. I, I, let me let me keep reading. We can beat almost anyone that almost is there because they almost beat pace, I guess. In the majority of PvP in this game, when the fight is a fair one. Is he saying that the fight with pace and crew was unfair? I don't know. But the statement is so strong. Angel shows up and he puts the ad on it. Angel says, you know what? I feel this statement so much. And Tater, I feel like I'm way more important than you. That I'm going to have to double down and at everyone as well. Problem. Tater then gets puffed up, right? Because right there with that statement, after Angel just said he added everyone too, that was like massaging Tater's shoulder. So Tater says, you know what? I'm about to triple down on what I said. This challenge goes for any team who thinks we aren't as good as we say. Quixie is still trying to save face. He's swearing that he was not on that boat. But if you look at these two images right here, that's Quix. And this is the alleged victim right here that got clapped and clipped by Pace and such. But if you look at the coat, you look at the pants, and you look at the gloves, the only thing I see difference is the face. The guy probably changed his beer. Is it Kaiser Sose? I don't know, okay? But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Quixie says, I would also like to say, and he writes in all caps after this, I was not in the game at all against Pace. It was Joker. He's telling it was Twitch. He's telling. It was Raspy. He is telling. And it was their leader, Hunter. And then I left the VC. So I don't know what happened. Okay? He was foreshadowing when he left the VC after he figured out what happened. If you don't know what a foreshadow is, you will know in a few seconds. Tater Tot then quadruples down on what he is trying to get people to understand. But he attacks me in the process of doing it. Problem. Tater says, like effing hell, bae, you better pull up after dragging our name through the dirt. Like that saying, this was the worst clown age of the year. He says, nah, bro, it's about to be the second worst after we crap stomp you after talking about us like that. Now, one, okay. This is why that statement is all wrong and not going to happen. Blender Thumpers have nothing to prove to Bobby the Bottles. Nobody, in fact, nobody does. What have you guys done for the Naval RTDM community lately? You guys have been catching a lot of L's, okay? A lot of L's problem. I almost thought all day was on your team because the way these L's have just been flowing in, okay? Twitch and Quick's your best player is gone. Just like he left that VC back to the foreshadow. He was showing you once he left that VC, he wanted nothing to do with that crew. Quick's is gone. He skedaddled. Okay. He's gone. He got out of there. So you guys don't even have your best player. Twitch is left. And from what I'm being told, Joker is from one invite from anybody asking him, does he want to be part of their crew? He's gone. So you guys just lost some of your best TDM players. Nobody wants to be affiliated with you. That's one problem. Second problem is when you throw out challenges like this, bro, do you think the C's are not going to answer? 
You got to answer for your sins when you do stuff like this, bro. Who did you guys just get dropped off, dropped off by? The riots. The riots read that statement and then they just dropped you guys off. So then again, three, we have nothing to prove. Okay, and the footage is right here, so you can't deny it. The score was 32 to 5 in one game, and then 24 to 18 the next game. It was over, bro. I don't know what you guys are going to do to redeem yourself. Why don't you go inside of the Bandits Hideout 2.0 and tip right everybody like a uh, tip every tip middle like everybody else does that's on Conless, right? And if you don't know how to do that, ask Tribes because he does it the best. That's all he's known for. He's not known for any gaming skill. He's not known for being good at Sea of Thieves or none of that. Problem, okay? Or you could join the Conquest Discord, right? The one that they made and just go be in there and just oh, so they can all tip right each other and still try to convince themselves they're important. But like I said, I talked to a very important member of the Misfits, Xander, a.k.a. Boss Batista. And he doesn't even like the mention of Conless because he just doesn't understand who and why they think they are as important as the original OG teams. Problem. And I'm just being real. That would be my best bet to the Bobby the Bottles. I feel like you guys could disband and go follow the rest of the crowd, okay? Just go over there. Nobody's going to say anything anymore. It's going to be like you guys was never there. The greatest trick the devil has ever convinced people of, okay, is trying to show the world he didn't exist. Okay, so just act like you guys just just act like none of this happened and it'll just be all over and going away. Because right now, right now, there's nothing you guys could do to redeem yourself. Okay, right now you guys are in the biggest serious situation and what we call that situation is the problem matter of fact you guys are the biggest you guys are a bigger embarrassment than trump right now thinking that he won the election and you're trying to save face it's not gonna happen i'm sorry moving forward word 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 what, what's going on word like what, what's going on man like 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 the seeds need an explanation like what is going on why are you turning on your friends and then trying to set them up? Look, I, let, I'm going to let the story tell itself. Rab hits up Fake and he expresses to Fake what transpired and what's happening. So Fake hits up Word to try to get information out of this. Okay? So let's just start off like this and we're going to piece everything together. Like, and you'll, I'll, I'll digress and let you know everything that's transpired and what's happened. So. This is between fake and word. Okay. Word says, oof. Fake says, you wouldn't play with him if he sent you that. And it was legit though. Word says, I can screen share you if you think it's fake. Also, I don't play with them. He was kicked from our discord. Fake says, it was like 13 days ago. Word says, yes. And he was kicked around that time. Like I said, I can screen share my discord. Fake news says you would have told me when you found out, though. So at this particular moment, word is pretty much saying Rabs is a cheater and sent him the leak showing him that he cheats. But he gets deeper. Fake says you would have told me when you found out, though. Word says we baited him. Nah, he was chill until him and Spectre got into it. Fake says, forward the exact same leak to me so I can see what actually what it actually points to. Word says, I'm not sending cheat links, bro. F that. I don't trust no one on the C's. LOL. Fake says, take that takes away your credibility. Word says, you can look it up. The link if you want. I'm not being associated with cheating. He's used it during a TDM. I was like, how do you know where everyone is? He said, here, LOL, watch this. Screen shared. Now, why didn't Word, who likes to gather a lot of proof, start recording the screen? Or, well, I'm, I'm going to let you guys do your thing. Dude literally knew what barrel had food in them and what kind of food just wanted just wanted to drop that. Do whatever you want with the knowledge. Okay, so if you don't understand what's happening yet, you see, I guess Rab's inspector had a falling out. Word took Spectre's side on it. So what he said, what he was going to do in order to ha really show that he has Spectre's side, he's going to frame Rab's. Okay, and I give you this. Rab says, 
Cool. You asked for them. Why else would I send them, clown? Word says provide evidence. Rap says I don't need to. You're a clown. Word said, oh, you will. Clown with dirt on you. And then he puts out the Takashi 6 9 picture. Everybody knows what Takashi 6 9 is famous for as of late. He's famous for being a snitch. So not only is he saying that he's going to frame raps, he's throwing it in his face that he's going to frame him and he's attempting to, but also saying the fact that you're even going and was, and I'm going to read it later, expose this to the community as far as where the cheats come from and what they do. It makes you a rat. Okay. So this is what raps has sent to fake. He says, no one does. What does a link to unknown cheats even show? That is a public website, LOL. This is how we found out what happened, what people are using. And he was all aboard because me and Knickknack wanted to show the community what is going on and how just one link or one search you can get ESP. But no one believed us. So I trusted word and he does this. It is a disgrace. He knows I'm right. That's why he says provide proof. Even put the snitch bit in there. Truly sad. It is truly sad, Rabs. But C's ain't safe. You kind of played yourself. Moving forward. Rabs says, he's talking to fake. He says, do you remember when he messaged Bay about cheats? He asked me to send him the free cheats everyone was using because me and Knickknack cracked the code. Problem. Found the free gummy cheats everyone was using. Then he started asking me about paid cheats. And I said, I have no idea because I didn't. So he messaged gummy on an alt. Remember, this guy is the one that was talking bad about wolf cheating. But I guess if you can't beat him, right, you might as well join him. Problem. So he messaged Gummy on an alt discord and is still trying to buy cheats to this day. I think it's funny. All he has is a link I sent him. Fake says, I know. That's why I said the other stuff. It's all cap. He wanted the link to send to Bay. He's just using it now to make me look bad. But you can clearly see now, not only in my clips, but in my stream that I don't use any cheats, especially not some free boofy ass cheats. Fake says, so he's trying to send this crap to Bay. Rav says, I wouldn't download free cheats. It is a code for free virus. He was, remember, when he was trying to expose the cheats? So I remember this as well, too. Word had got mad one time, and he did want to show people how they were cheating, and he was going to send them to me to try to expose people. But little did I know he would have a fallout with Rabs over Spectre and then try to use this cheating link, right, to show that Rabs has been cheating the whole time to try to ruin his reputation. Word does have a reputation of gathering information on people. But what I see right now, what I'm starting to understand, the guy is, a profession is professional at framing people. Problem. Okay? So Fake tells Rabs he could turn it around. Rabs says, yeah, for sure. Especially since he was messaging Gummy asking for paid cheats. He said, now I don't have any proof because I'm not a snake. But that is the that is honestly how it went down. I don't know why he is doing this. He is a literal snake and one of the nastiest humans I have ever been associated with. The things he does and says are just out of hate and spite. He is a nasty. He is nasty. His soul is just bad problem. Word. I don't know what's gotten into you lately. I really thought you was a good source at one time, right? When you approached me talking about Cork. But what I'm starting to see is you're like a female, bro. You're very vindictive, very emotional. I'm sorry, women. That was very sexist. I want to edit that out, but I got to keep going. That was very, very sexist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving forward. You are just very, very emotional. Okay. Now, is it okay, women, for me to say he's he's acting like he's on his period? That's what I kind of meant to say. Problem. Okay. And this is what you have to get under control. You can't turn your back on another friend and therefore then try to frame him about cheats because he sent you a link that him and Knickknack had exposed and was going to expose to the community. But then you therefore turn on him. And not only do you in the process turn on him, you then try to go make an alt account to ask for the cheats to try to get them from Gummy so you could use them against people. Problem. 
which makes sense lately why I've been seeing you getting dropped off. Because what I heard the other day is you just lost a match two times in a row on playing against some team. And I believe I have the footage right here. And you were getting dropped off yet again. And you lost two TDM matches in a row. So you've been catching a lot of L's lately like Bobby the Bottles. Maybe they'll pick you up because they just lost some of their players to play in TDMs. But I feel like everybody who's affiliated with all this loss and L's they've been catching this week possibly need to become a clan or group together. It's looking real, real ugly right now amongst the seas. And this is why people got to be careful. Okay? Moving forward. It is just getting started and it gets deeper than this. I promise you. Check this out. Do you guys know Big Slaps? If you do, you're going to find out. He didn't know who Ash Bacon, a.k.a. the bitch of the seas is. He didn't know. He did not know. I'm telling you he didn't know. I'm going to let you know why he didn't know because he didn't know what I know. And what I know is what when my crew told me what was happening, I said he's going to get banned. I, I said he's going to get banned. I said it jokingly because I know her reputation. But this is what happened, okay? This is why you got to be careful. Okay, so someone joined Big Slaps' voice Discord call, right? And they said they were stream sniping Ash Bacon, okay? So TV Slaps look at it as an opportunity like, oh, okay, this, you know, this is cool. I'm a streamer. She's a streamer. Streamer versus streamer. You know, this is good content, right? Problem. He, he just doesn't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. He gets into the lobby, and now the fight begins. Now, a lot of people don't like his spawn camping. However, he doesn't like when somebody keeps trying to come back for their loot, what, 10 or 12 times after they already sink, right? It's like, bro, we got the loot, you lost, it's done, right? From his perspective and from how he sees it, right? Which is fair. Now, the purpose of his spawn camping is to make sure that the crew does not come back, which makes sense. You would think the, the crew is going to scuttle or just leave, right? You already lost your loot. We're going to keep on killing if you're going to keep coming back because we want to enjoy the game. You lost this battle. You might win the war later. Anyway, to not come back and try to get their, the things, get their things again. So they try to force the server merge to get more loot. Now, slap spawn camps for a reason. And Ash Bacon had a lot of loot and would not scuttle. So he's doing his thing. He's spawn camping and such. And his crew is talking crap, you know, pipe down, bot, sit down, et cetera, et cetera. And someone says, make me breakfast, bot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That right there is a problem. That gives her reason to run with. Like, I'm going to kind of give you an example of the games that she plays. Like, for example, pay attention to this clip. Hey, Dan. Yeah, Ash, come on back you. <laughs> it's, it's interesting to see who they're watching, because I've been down here for like three minutes now. So they're clearly watching you at Burger. Mm-hmm. Kaida, can you relay for me? They're staying up top now. There they are. All three of them are at the top waiting for us. You can dance in my body all you want, bad, bud. I'm just watching them jump around. See if they've got anything else to say. Is that all you got to say? Nothing else? One of them got See, snapped. We have nothing to say. You guys just died over and over again. Mm, looks like we won. None of us were trying to get any wins. Oh yeah? So you yeah. just wanted to lose. I mean, you can't tell that two of us were throw away all the time you snipe on. Sorry, what? Like, you were three on. of us on the ship, but it's okay. Daddy, yes! Gotta think of it we have some bacon! Three of you guys on the ship, while well, one of you guys is hurting <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, it's called winning. Oh, another one just got snapped. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I'm just watching them get snapped. I just wanna hear you screaming. Daddy, yes! I needed some Yikes! Looks like your team's getting uh removed. It's a shame. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean we all don't care. This game is dead. Yeah. So you're just admitting oh, you have oh, no yeah. life. Oh my. Oh. Okay. By saying this game is dead. No, by saying you have nothing better to do than stream snipe on a air quote dead game. <laughs> I did not say. It. 
Mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. It's the inside this game. Everything else is boring. Oh, uh huh. Because you're not good at the game. Oh, there goes another yeah, one. Yikes! Shit, believe, you're the last one left. So you guys saw what she did right there, okay? First of all, the dude she was with says they're stream sniping. He's been down there for three minutes. He's trying to see what's happening. She agrees with him with no proof, right? And then tells somebody to go ahead and report that, right? So assuming that they're stream sniping, they're sitting at the top of her vote. She doesn't want the type of credit you would take for, hey, I'm Ash Bacon. I have notoriety. They possibly know my gamer tag. That's why they're sitting on my boat camping. She gets frustrated, and this is how she abuses her power. You cannot sink her in arena. You cannot steal her loot in a venture. Because if you do that, you're stream sniping, sniping. You're not good. So once she goes up and they get clapped, right? That's her. That's more than confirmation in her mind that they're stream sniping. She even tries to convince and put words in the other guy's mouth that he was stream sniping, all because he said the game is boring and dying, right? Then says he doesn't have a no life, et cetera, et cetera. While also making fun of how people is disappearing, right? I want you guys to understand the problem with that. Because what she does is flexes her muscle in a bad way. So, once Slaps and them stole her loot and sold the most expensive stuff of her loot, she ended up getting crackened. Bam, they left it alone. He's on his way now to the Fort of the Dam. He already assumes that she is going to be on her way there. Somebody in his chat tells him that she's on her way there. He says, don't tell me that. I don't need to know. Once he sees her and she shows up, there he slaps and his crew is already fighting a galley at the fort. He pulls out his megaphone and he gives her the option. You can either stay and fight for the fort of the dam or you can leave. OK, we already sold your most expensive loot problem. We have no, like, sinking you right now or spawn camping you right now would do any value. Like, we did what we need to do. I got my content. I'm better. Our team is better. Period. Right? So, he ends up, and he was, like, saying, oh, so I guess also what he was saying at the process of saying is he was like, hey, hey, baby, I don't think you want to mess with this right here, baby. You probably need to just go ahead and leave, right? The same thing you would say, like, I don't know if you ever played sports with somebody. And, you know, you be like, you say you're getting busy or whatever, you know, you do your left handed layup. You've been working on your left hand all week, even though you're really right handed. And you make that hand with the left and you tell your boy, you be like, you can't stop this, huh, baby. Right. She tried to switch that and say like he was using sexism by calling her baby problem. Right. So she's already starting her claim on how she is going to get him red bearded. She's using sexism at this point because she couldn't think, or didn't know, or, di or couldn't try to flip it into a way of saying he was stream sniping, but she was frustrated. She lost her loot. And then now he's telling me, I can't get the Ford of the Dam. Who does this guy think he is? Problem. The moment he said, baby, she said, I got him by the balls. I'm going to show him to who the true bitch of the seas is. Okay? That's what she went and ran with, right? Moving forward. Now, I love you, Slaps, but I ain't going to read all that. Now, at the beginning of this one right here, the only part I want to read real quick is he said, I received a ban hours after a run-in with another streamer named Captain Ash Bacon Problem. Now, the moment, like I said, when he called her baby... That was her chance to make a move. Problem, right? That was her claim to try to bust a move to be like, this is it. I got him. I got him because she wanted to do anything. Like, if y'all pay attention to the clips, when she gets angry, like I said, you can't. You are not allowed to sink her ship in adventure, and you are not allowed to beat her in arena. Because if you do, you are stream sniping, you are attacking a woman, or you're just being sexist. She's going to try to do anything and everything that she possibly can. Then you have her her fanboys and fangirls over there that's also going to jump in your stream. Or excuse me. Yeah, if you're streaming on Twitch, they're going to jump in that person's chat and then do like an investigation to also try to get some dirt. This is what she does. And look at the lengths that Slaps had to go, right? Like, for example, so he writes his ticket. And then this is what happened. This is how Rare responds. Check this out. I, well aware of what happened as I watched your personal Twitch stream. Actions from the incident 
And quite frankly, the behavior of you and your friends is more than a little disturbing problem. If you believe that kind of toxic and abusive gameplay is appropriate in any form whatsoever, then you are very much mistaken and this is the wrong game for you problem. You are permanently banned from our game services and are not welcome back. Regards, rare, okay? The cold thing about this whole situation is they don't do an investigation. He claims he did. He watched it. Is calling somebody babe, baby, worth you losing all your hours of play, the in real life money that you've spent on the game, not to mention he's also streaming it, showing people he enjoys the game problem. Like, like all that put all that is at risk are gone completely no debate right they don't even give you like a they they don't even tell you like hey you're gonna be gone for one or two days three days you're permanently banned off of her claiming sexism rare let me tell you something do you know how many times i get called racial slurs on this game okay like all the time if i report can i get rid of half the people that do it to me If, if 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 so hey sign me up problem right but we don't, I don't get that type of privilege. Why does Ash Bacon get it? Why does all this work that Big Slaps has put in building his fan base, his credibility, you don't know how this man feeds and supports his family? He's building a fan base. They're probably sending him donations. We have a coronavirus pandemic still going on as we speak. This could be his only source of income. But y'all don't care, right? Because the moment Ash Bacon gets her feelings, her problem, you just ban somebody permanently right it is the most disrespectful and disgusting thing ever and we've already talked about this before rare why are you guys not fair bars problem back to the back back to the topic at hand okay so he says okay this is slaps if i may ask which of my actions were disturbing or broke the pirate code okay Also, Sea of Thieves is an open world game and nothing I did was abusive. The definition of abuse to use something to bad effect or for a purpose, for a bad purpose, misuse. And also to treat a person or an animal which with cruel, cruelty, excuse me, or violence, especially regularly or repeatedly. Okay, tongue twisters, whatever you want to call it. Problem. I saw another sailor on the seas and fought their ship. So I believe that is fair. If you watch my personal stream, then you would see that I told my chat to not be negative and that it is all love just purely for entertainment value. Is that fair? Is, is anything wrong with that? Does anybody see a problem with what he's what his intention was right there? Moving forward, he says, I have had numerous people call me racial slurs. I agree. Problem. And speak down to me for being a person of color in game. And I still see the same players. I have seen blatant hackers numerous times. Those people abuse the game. I just try to make people laugh and put on a good show. I would like to know if you are able to tell me why did I not receive a warning or uh, or a don't do that, just a ban. Slaps, I feel you. I feel you. As another fellow black gamer of the Sea of Thieves, I feel you. OK, I just went inside of Conquest's uh, discord. Right. Not to mention the dude. Um, uh, w- w- what's his name? The, the guy that's not important. Uh, if you look over there, you might care about him uh, over there next to the porta potty inside where the rest of the crap. What is that guy's name? Y'all got it yet? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tribes. <laughs> that's his name. Tribes. The guy middle peg legs uh, penis holder. I went over into Conquest's discord with them. I can't tell you how many of them was calling me the M-bomb. You had, uh, what, Upmost in there going in at me. You know, he was calling me, saying it to me. You had uh, Tribes in there saying it. And Middle's in there affiliated, too, with the rest of his homeboys, the Bandits, right? And they got footage of them doing the same thing. So this is what I'm saying here, Rare. If somebody is going to get banned permanently for calling another woman baby, what are you going to do about all these kids dropping in bombs and racial slurs and hacking and breaking the game? Problem. Where is the fairness kicking at, right? Do we need to have a sit down and discuss this? 
Or do you cater and show only privilege to certain people that you feel have a certain amount of followers on Twitch? So it's like the game is not dying, but it can possibly die. It could possibly grow bigger if you allow people to put out content, right? Like you got things a part of the game that people could actually use to prevent certain things from happening. Like some, like somebody tried to set me up the other night, right? I constantly try to get knocked offline, okay? Somebody made a personal discord about me, tribes, along with Dunbar and some other people. They're trying to build a case on me right now to get me banned off of Sea of Thieves and to try to get me permanently offline, let alone out of every discord problem, right? But who's going to do something about that? Nobody, right? I have to walk on this, uh, I have to walk on eggshells myself. I have to stay on guard. But I honestly feel like other streamers shouldn't have to feel like that playing a game. So like I was saying, I was almost set up the other night in the game. Somebody tried to get clips with me. Instead of me scuttling, I just left the server, right? But if I wanted to, I had the option to scuttle because that's part of the game and that stopped me from being camped. That's the same thing Ash Bacon could do. But instead of doing something like that, she looks and tries to create and find reasons to get people permanently banned. And that rare is a problem. OK, now moving forward. Rare responds again. They say, I suggest you watch your stream back and consult the code of conduct for rare and Microsoft Xbox. Right. They drop the hyperlink. If you truly cannot see what you were doing wrong then perhaps have a female member of your family. They attacking his in real life family right now, okay? Problem, okay? That is not a gamer. Take a look for some honest feedback. The decision is final. If you call somebody baby on the Sea of Thieves, a woman, you will get rare bearded and the decision is final. Imagine that. I get called racial slurs on this game all day, but I guess y'all better not call Baythanger baby at all. Y'all better not call me baby or anything. The moment one of y'all call me baby, you're done. You are done. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to send it to Rare, and you are done. Problem. So that was kind of like, you know, you bring somebody's real life family in here. Whoever this guy is right here replying to slaps, like seriously, he needs to be reported on this guy. I, I, I don't know. When you do something like that, that's just kind of going overboard, bro. You need to stick to the code of conduct of being professional and keeping pe people's family members out of your mouth, period. So that kind of offended Big Slaps, you know, and I feel him. So he goes, bro, I am married with a pregnant wife and I am the oldest of three siblings with two sisters and was raised by a single black mother in Southern Alabama. I have dealt with prejudice and hardship. You can't imagine. Problem. I will be sure to find a way to contact your supervisors for speaking to me in such an unprofessional manner and speaking of my family problem. I am not a child and you will not speak to me as one. They kind of went overboard right there. They kind of went overboard right there. Like, let's just be honest right here, right? Kind of makes you want to cancel the game. I'm not going to lie, like, I had no idea what type of people I'd be dealing with when it comes to Rare, right? They better not ban me. They better not ban me for nothing. Like, I honestly wish Rare would actually ban me with all the racism and everything I deal with on this game to need for me to see and witness something and us for here to read these transcripts, right? These tickets and to see a hardworking streamer get banned permanently for calling a woman baby. He called a woman baby. Okay. This is almost this is worse than the Rocco situation when she was saying her puppet was a little boy. Right. But somebody referred to the puppet as a girl because the puppet was talking like this. It was talking like this and it sounded like that. Blah, blah, blah. But little did she know she wanted people to know that her puppet was a real boy. Nobody knew it. And they started banding people for that. So it's just way out of line. And look how she manipulates. Just look. Look at this. Uh, just go and report him for stream sniping and you can report his Twitch channel for self-promoting on other people's channels. They're the ones who came to us. Primal blood. Does it look like I'm crying? Does it, does it look like I'm crying? Why isn't this motherfucker left yet? I don't know. He, he just he really he wants just to be here. Just, just, listen, listen. I'm done with the game. I can make, I can make this guy just stay, stay gone. gone. Honestly, one more stupid ass shit. shit. Oh my god! Is it? It is! The mega bitch! So let me
let me get this straight. She wants her chat to report an in-game player because he stole her loot in a game titled Sea of Thieves, right? So she gets so angry that she wants some red bearded. Not only that, she asks her chat to report him from stream sniping, okay? And to report his Twitch account to get that also banned because he's allegedly self-promoting in her chat. Look how she manipulates her power in a game. We can't even enjoy a game that we're allowed and supposed to steal on, right? We're thieves. That's this, this sea, this water, this video game, we're thieves in here. Ash Bacon, I don't think you know or if you read the title yet, right? You seem pretty smart. You're in a game, a pirate game, to where when you go dig up chess, right? Right, you dig up chests, you get Athenas and gold chests and stuff like that, right? You get all this loot on your boat. When you see another boat, they're not there to be your friend. They're coming to rob, steal, and kill. Last time that I checked, I don't know if you know that, right? If you ever run into this situation again, there's an option on your game. You can scuttle, okay? You just, you do, you know, you wave the white flag. That's it. And you go restart over. It's all a part of the game. This is not real life. He's not really going inside of your house or showing up, taking your personal property. It is a video game, Ash Bacon. It's a video game. You know what that is? That's like virtual reality, right? Like, for example, if you turn your screen off right now and you walk away, right? There's no boats and water really around you. I don't think you understand that. Just just try to try to pay attention to that. Next time you sign online, I'm letting you know somebody's going to rob you. They're going to take your loot. OK, that doesn't mean cry and call rare. Ask your followers and everybody to go report people to try to get them red bearded or get their channel shut down just because you're bigger than them. Like, seriously, that's a problem, Ash Bacon. That is a problem. And then the guy in the game playing with you, he stream sniping slaps, right? He's double threatening. He's saying he's waiting for slaps to say something out of line so he can then therefore have him permanently gone like what where do you guys get this like power from or this emotion like you know what you're acting like you're acting like a karen okay I, i've heard people refer to you as the bitch of the seas but you're acting like a karen of the seas ash bacon i don't want to call you baby you might call youtube and get me in trouble who knows problem it's a video game you're going to get robbed if you cannot stand the water with the sharks, then don't jump in it. Until next time, the seas ain't safe. Rare is out of their goddamn mind. But then now they've grown and they've gained a lot of respect from other crews. Okay? They don't, they don't know I know this information. In fact, nobody wants this out. You know why I get this information? Okay? I'm well respected around the seas. If you know my gamer tag, don't give it out. Because I can't help you. I can't help you. I'm going to deny it. I'm going to change my name. I'm trying to make the seas as safe as possible. If you give me out, you shut down everything. I'm gone. I'm gone. Because I'm going to tell you right now. I see any of these guys show up. Anybody. Okay? I'm gone. I'm gone.